Sid, emerge. We can only do this once. We don't have time for mistakes. I'm Tracy Spiridakis. I play Detective Haley Upton on Chicago PD. Episode 913, Stillwater, is one of my personal favorite episodes. We had a really great time shooting it and did some pretty incredible stunt work. We want to take you behind the scenes and show you how we brought this sequence to life. And action! Hang on, reset, reset. When I first read the script, I was excited, but also, are we really doing this? Are we really doing this in January? We all read it, like the whole cast, we were like, oh, <laughs> ah, this one's mine, I can't believe it. You start asking the questions like, are, are we doing this? Are we gonna do it here? Because locations played a big part into this. First thing we started thinking of is, where can we shoot the underwater work? What bridge can we do this practically to? And what's physically gonna be possible on any sort of bridge that we can use? That would give us production value, read Chicago, but also work for the story points. Once we had our location and we wanted to use the Columbus Bridge and that process was started, we got in the storyboard. We started breaking it down into pieces. We knew it was the underwater work in LA. We knew we needed a surface tank on a stage here. And then we had the practical work on location for the actual crash. After those storyboards were finalized, we started moving to the next step. We met with David Green, our effects coordinator, to figure out what could we do. I thought it was an ambitious task, but something that we could definitely accomplish. It took a lot of planning as far as logistics, getting with the city, making sure we were able to do it with the equipment that we needed, or what they requested that we do with the car as far as removing any oil, engine parts, everything, basically, to a bare minimum. So we didn't pollute anything inside of the river once we entered it with the car. Next was the whole engineering what kind of crane we were using, what kind of equipment was going to be on the bridge, how much weight, how are we going to distribute the weight evenly, how are we not going to hurt the bridge, also how we were going to launch it into the river, which was basically a catapult system. We weren't actually allowed to launch it off the bridge. We had to launch it off our own ramp. So we needed to build a ramp, put a steering gear on it that would keep the car straight, put the catapult underneath it, and test everything and do the numbers so it landed right where a camera wanted it to. The visual effects people, they took our car and the gate that we crashed through and moved it down onto the bridge. That was part of their work that they had to do. Most of this was practical effects. Launching the car, sinking the car, lifting it in and out of the water. Our show likes to try to be as real as possible. We're not a CG show. We do driving work practically. I'm stunned, and then it's like, who's all involved? Upton's gonna be running, she's gonna be dodging a car that's out of control. So we have a car element, we have a big special effect with the car going over the bridge, we have it landing, then her running down, then her actually jumping into the river. And cut. My first thought was, oh my God, Kelly and I have to go in the river in January. <laughs> Finally, I get to jump in the river. It's kind of a running joke here in Chicago that you're not an official Midwest stunt person until you go in the Chicago River. So I was excited. This particular action sequence, trying to bring this to life, it was an undertaking. I mean, the weather was always played a big part of it. Like, what's it going to do? Is the river going to freeze over? And is that what, what is that going to be for us? The first day, the river was lightly frozen. And the second day, that ice hadn't gone away. So we had to put people in the water, and we can't safely do it if there's ice everywhere anyway. So we had to bring in barges to push the ice out. This was dangerous because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Some of the safety elements for, for the stunt double is, you know, where she's going in at, where it's safe, how deep it is, how long she's going to be in the water. And, you know, we also had a, a, a visual cue if something went wrong. She knows what to do, when to stop, when to go in. But I said, you know, regardless of even if she's even if she's good, we go in and get her after uh, like 25 seconds of what we actually came up with. Three, two, one, action! Jumping in the Chicago River in January in freezing temperature was exhilarating. It was very cold. 
Kelly is amazing to go in the river in January. <laughs> She's on the boat safe. Can we clap it up for Kelly? Let's clap it up for Kelly. Come on now. We had a great team there, making sure I was warm the whole time. And truly, it went by faster than I thought it was going to. She's smiling. The way to keep cast and crew motivated when it's in cold conditions, long hours, is to let them know that you're with them, that you are experiencing the same thing. You can't be in your trailer. You can't be in somewhere warm. You have to stand out there and experience it. We had a couple underwater sequences. There was the pool sequence. We did the whole fight sequence in that pool area. And then there was the tank sequence. We needed something that could get, take her deeper. We needed 20 feet of depth at least to get her to travel down to the car and make it feel like we're really in the river. I went into the tank a little nervous, not really knowing what to expect, and the crew that was there, and then Kelly was there too. I mean, within 10 minutes, we were all laughing, having a great time, and it ended up being a really incredible experience. That's sweet. I could tell the time was running out on my second day, on the last day. I was like, no, I just want to hang out with you guys all day. We worked together nonstop to bring that scene to life. If it wasn't me in there, it was Tracy in there, and she was working just as hard as I was to get those underwater shots, because a lot of it was her face and her reaction to doing the action in it. And whenever I could get in there and it was a shot that was behind, I would do it. But we definitely worked together to make it all happen. Sometimes it can be difficult to balance the emotion of the scene or just even the reality of what the elements would be like while doing the actual stunt work. Because, you know, it's just you underwater in a, in a tank, in a warm tank. Um, and so what I found super helpful was having Chad there reminding me, um, you know, don't forget, it's freezing, you're freezing. I'm beyond impressed with Tracy's stunt work on one of the most in-depth stunts we've done on this show and couldn't be more proud of her. It's crazy that this is my job. Like, I just am super grateful to, uh, to be working and have such a fun script and an amazing team that's so excited to bring it to life. And it, it, the whole process has just been super exciting. So I'll keep going until they tell me to stop. I actually can't express how proud I am of everyone in this episode. The crew, the cast, they all really stepped up. They were asked to do something challenging and I just can't put it to words. It, it makes me get emotional because they did so well. Thank you, everyone, that's a wrap. Action sequences are a lot of work, but uh, we're lucky the Chicago PD team is up for the challenge, and we had a really great time shooting it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for joining us and getting to see a little TV magic, and we'll see you in Chicago.